In this lesson, we'll use Illustrator's basic shape tools to construct a traffic sign. When analyzing this traffic sign, we can see this graphic is made up of three basic shapes, the circle, the rectangle, and the square. These shapes can be constructed using the rectangle and the ellipse tool in Illustrator's tool palette. The diamond shape is simply a square rotated at a 45 degree angle using Illustrator's rotate tool. Let's get started on creating these shapes. Locate the shape tools on the toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut by pressing the L or M key to access the ellipse tool or the rectangle tool. If we left click and hold that shape tool, we can reveal all the tools that are associated with that one tool. To keep this flyout panel open, we can simply go to the right and tear off the tool panel so that it becomes a floating panel where we can access all the shape tools quickly. Since Illustrator is an object-oriented software, to create this graphic, we're gonna start from the bottom shape up. With the rectangle shape tool, click once on the artboard to bring up the rectangle dialog box. Next, type in four by four inches in the height and the width, and then press okay. In the properties panel, let's go and change the fill color to yellow. Set the stroke value to none. We're gonna locate the three dots underneath the transform option in the properties palette. Click on that. And we're gonna change the rounded corner radius to 0.125. Next, we're going to duplicate this shape using the scale tool. So if we double click on the scale tool, we'll bring up the scale dialog box and we're going to use the uniform scale to bring this down to 95%. Make sure scale corners and scale stroke and effects are checked. We can use our preview option and we can see that the box scales down 95% and we're going to press copy. Once this duplicated shape copies at 95%, we're going to go to our stroke in the properties palette and change that value to black and increase the point size to two point. Next, to create the black shape behind the circles, we're going to use the scale tool once again. Double click on your scale tool. Under non-uniform, we're going to change the value from 95% to 35%. Check our preview and press copy. Notice that the shape is a little bit shorter on the top and the bottom and it's 35% of its value from left to right. We're going to go to the properties panel and we're going to change the fill color from yellow to black and we're going to take the stroke value off and set it to none. In the properties panel, let's locate the three dots under transform and open up the corner radius options. Open that up and we're going to take that corner radius back down to zero to get our sharp edges around each corner. Next, to create the circle, we need to go and select our ellipse tool. With the ellipse tool selected, we're going to find the center of the black rectangle shape, and then we're going to hold the option key and shift, and we're going to click and drag to our right, and we're going to let go of the mouse. Then in our properties panel, we're going to go to fill and change it from black to yellow to get our yellow circle. Once we have the circle created, we're gonna to go to the properties menu and change the size to 1.1, just to give it a little bit more space between the top and the bottom so it can fit with the other circles. So uh, we're going to move and duplicate this circle by going to Object, Transform, Move. We select Move, the dialog box comes up, and we're gonna change the value 
to 1.2 in the vertical position and press copy to get a duplicate copy of the circle. Next, we're going to select the middle circle, go back to object transform, select move, and in our vertical space, we're going to add a negative to the value to move that circle up and press OK. Now that we have all three circles, let's change the fill color of the top circle to red and the fill color of the bottom circle to green. Perfect. To finalize our graphic, we're going to use our selection tool to create a marquee selection to select both rectangle shapes. Then we're going to go over to the rotate tool and double click to bring up the rotate dialog box. In the angle, we're going to type in 45 degrees and press OK. Both squares are rotated at 45 degrees to complete our traffic sign graphic.